sign in and pay your entry fee, which will be $25. You'll be given a name tag and you'll head into the main dining area where your event host tree will be giving you the rules for tonight's speed dating. Good luck. <laughs> Can't believe I let you talk me into this, Brooke. Hey, if I'm going down, you're going down with me. My mother will not leave me alone about being single, so I thought I would try this out. Have you seen the bachelors in this circus? Come on, it's not that bad. You never know. One of these clowns might be your Prince Charming. I'm gonna punch you in the boob. Rude. Hey, if I hit him hard enough, it might hold your dress up. Rude. At least we get free wine with our admission. That's the only reason I'm here. All right, let's go find Mr. Wright. <laughs> Welcome, prospective lover. Can everyone hear me? Fabulous. Now, if we could all come closer, be a happy organism. Wonderful. Okay, so thank you for taking time out of your schedule to find your perfect match. I'm Tree, your host and caretaker for this event. Uh, okay, so um, this is how tonight is going to work. We are going to begin with our beautiful ladies sitting stationary at the tables, and the gentlemen will be seated. But when I ring the gong, Then that means the men must move from their seat on to the next beautiful carrier of our children. If the lady feels she has met her life partner, she will signify on her survey sheet with the name on his name tag. Are there any questions? How often do we refill our drinks? Our hostess from the front will be periodically checking drink orders since we do not want her to distract you from finding your match. She will only scan for refills during the transitions, which will take approximately one minute apiece. Begin your path to love, my children. You have 60 seconds to make an impression on your female. Hi, I'm Zena. Yeah, I highly doubt that. Let's get this over with. I'm 45, I live with my parents, I have no desire to find a mate, and I'm obligated to do this because if I don't, my mother won't pay for my video games. Wow, you seem like a real winner. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just gonna play on my handheld till that stupid gong rings. Your handheld? Is, uh, is that what they're calling it these days? My video game. Dummy. So, what do you do? I work in retail, which is so dumb, but it helps me pay for my art career. Oh, that's fun, I guess. So what do you like to do for fun? I love to go dancing. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Tote serious. Anywhere I can shake my booty is my new favorite place. Can I ask you an honest question? Of course. Do you really like girls? I mean, I'm just getting this whole, you play on my team kind of vibe, like as if we're watching baseball and we both just like pitchers. <laughs> Swing out, sister. <laughs> Look, I'm just here so I can talk to Tree. He's so tall. Must be why they call him Tree. So, where do you see yourself in five years? Five years? Oh, it's a lot of pressure. Um, I should be done with my college degree by then. And 
have many sci-fi cons under my belt. I'll have to go with professional cosplay. Oh wow, that's something all right. <laughs> so, what's your ideal first date? Going to the comic book store by myself. Just so that you know, I'm loaded. My wife died last year. She left her entire insurance policy to me. I can make you a very happy little lady. Wine, please, now. Oh my God, will somebody ring the damn gong already? So what brings you to speed dating? Oh, I just need to get out of the house. Food here is really great at this hotel. My mom signed me up for this whole speed dating thing. She's behind me, isn't she? Hi, Mom! Love you! I think she's the one, sweetie! <laughs> That's just perfect! After this, we get to go for ice cream! Mm. <laughs> Aren't you special? Okay, look. Before you start talking about yourself, I'm just gonna say that I am on to you. You're sitting here with your perfect look, your perfect muscles, and your successful looking outfit, and I can see right through it. Ah, not finished. So, Roger, if that is your real name, I just wanna say that you may tell me that you cure cancer or you feed the homeless, but I know it's just one big joke because nobody that perfect could possibly go to these stupid things. Then why are you here? Oh? If nobody perfect could possibly come to one of these things, then why are you here? <laughs> Let's get this over with. I'm Ted, I hate this, can we please have sex? Next! Wine, please. So, when are we gonna set the date? For the wedding. Oh, you'll have to ask my mom. She plans everything for me. Perfect. I know me and your mom, we're gonna get along just nicely. <laughs> okay, my lovely rainbows, this is your last chance to find your matches. Make it count. So how is your night going? Be better if we were done so I can go home to watch my movies. Oh, I enjoy movies too. Independent films are the best. Yeah, I mean, there's less social influence and they can do whatever they want. So, we have that in common. We go make out in the alley now, yeah? Yeah, sure, okay. So what's your story, Roger? No story. Just looking for a good girl to settle down with. I typically dabble in many unconventional dating methods. How about you? All the men I date are jerks. Well, maybe we shouldn't date then. Maybe we shouldn't.
So your name is Tree, huh? Yes, yes it is. I like to climb.